Hmm. Not bad, not bad, but I think we could do better. What's going on guys? This is the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, coming back at you guys once again with another Blade and Soul video. Today, something a little bit different than usual. This isn't a raid video or a dungeon video or whatever video, or event, trove, whatever. Uh, I'm Today I'm pretty much just showing you guys uh, a little bit of a showcase of my alt, uh, which is my KFM. As you as you can see in the, uh, the lower box, the, that chat box overlay that I've had for pretty much forever it says that my alt is a kfm and that's not you know i'm not lying when i say that that's not bullshit this is pretty much this is my kfm i haven't really showcased her a lot i did like one tomb video with her like a month ago um but right now i think she's in a pretty good state of mind in terms of gear um to be presentable excuse me if i sound like shit by the way i just finished doing a live stream um yeah so i like literally right just finished and i'm here we're making this video or whatever so yeah man just wanted to show you guys my kfm uh i'm gonna show a little bit of footage of doing some dailies with my kfm uh right after we do this nice little uh presentation i guess so uh, you get to see her in action see the kinds of numbers that she's pulling uh in some of the fights right because you know we do the hard mode and whatnot and uh yeah man so uh yeah this is my kfm alt her name is zelina and uh pretty much i've had her ever since launch right this is my literally Right after I made Easy Life, this is the second character that I made, uh, Zelina. And I actually took Zelina from uh, the JP server. If you go back and look at my old uh, Blade and Soul videos from like 2015, I played. I used to play on the JP server, and this is the character that I used to run with. So I took her from the JP and moved her into the NA, and ever since she's been my alt character. I re-rolled her. She used to be a destroyer. I re-rolled her into a KFM for the NA. Uh, but this is pretty much the exact character, man. The same character model and preset or whatever. I pretty much copied and paste it from the JP files into the NA and uh, yeah I, I took their took her character preset so uh, yeah so let's check out her, her gear enough nonsense enough bullshit uh, let's go ahead and check out her gear so uh, she's got Raven 3 I was able and fortunate enough to get both BT accessories for her um, stage 6 right and then we got the two piece oath, oath uh, the dragon set right the belt stage 6 whatever I finally just got the bracelet for her not too long ago some of you have actually seen me doing F8 uh, F8 about like a week ago I was doing F8 runs in Naryu Sanctum all week and the reason for that is because I was farming hands I was farming hands uh, just to get her a bracelet so she got the bracelet I got her the awakening ascending soul I crafted a few oils to get her stay her soul love but majority of the oils actually came from the previous event the Tower of Memory the Tower of Memory event lasted so fucking long and they were giving out so many bells that all of that shit went into oils and that was one of the biggest reasons why she was able to get herself an awakening ascending soul but prior to this she was like stage six a stage six soul uh, which before only costed like five or six oils, right? I crafted those uh, from but from six to awaken ascending that was ma majority of them came from um, The uh, the event so yeah, I got her pet up to stage six just for that 200 focus HP recovery on critical hit just for the minimum We got the best in slot um, Guiding fist magnum badge and then we have the sky rift of course to enhance that cyclone kick obviously as you can see she's a win kfm um, and yeah, man, I think when connect, I win, uh, pretty sure win KFMs are the, uh, the meta right now, right? There's a few fires, but I think right now the, uh, the meta is wind, uh, up until, up until the point where fire KFMs get their badge, their VT badge from, um, uh, Vertex Temple, then, uh, they're gonna, they, they will be relevant once again. They're gonna be just as good, if not better, in certain situations, uh, than wind build, right? So, uh, that's, that's actually a pretty good, actually, you know, talking about that, that's a good state of mind for KFMs, man. Before it used to be like you have to go win you have to go win you have to go win but with the fucking vt stuff the vt gear in the new raid damn man you could pretty much you have the option to go whichever build you want with that gear because both builds do really really good dps so um yeah uh, anyway uh checking out her solar shield she's rocking of course five piece bt three piece msp for that fucking cyclone kick swift strike combination DPS optimization, whatever the fuck you want to call it, and this is the pretty much the the, uh, the soul shoots that I run uh, when I'm going solo, right? And we got some crit on here. Majority of the pieces have crit, except I think my one 
Yeah, even the AP says one, but I put, put piercing on that for a specific reason. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much everything except my one has crit, which is, that sucks, but it's whatever. Uh, but uh, yeah, and then when I'm, of course, when I'm running with my group, I switch it up to the alternate associate, which is the full eight piece. Uh, eight piece bow by set and for the reason for that is obviously the fighting spirit right we have a warlock our main kfm runs on his warlock and the and me uh, you know since i usually have my destroyer i run on my kfm for the blue buff so uh, yeah <laughs> so yeah our kfm runs on his warlock for the soul burn and i run on my kfm all uh, for the blue buff so we pretty much both rock the full ap set just so we can give our our uh, tank and our fm uh, the blue buffs and whatnot. In fact, we also added uh, our main, our main uh, tank, or not our main tank, but our main. Um, what the fuck am I trying to say? Our one of our BMs, uh, Luna. He actually runs on his gunner too, so we actually have Alpha Call as well. So uh, yeah, we're pretty much a full buff optimized party or whatever. Uh, but yeah, no, this is what I'm rocking when uh, when I'm in a uh, full group and whatever. And this is pretty much her gear, which I got her stats right now. She is bam exactly 1,000 AP, 1,000 fucking AP, and she's only has Raven three. How the fuck do you explain that? Well, the simple uh, simple question or the simple answer is pretty much her gems. These are uh, pretty much my main gems. Well, not this gem. This is hers uh, specifically, right, for the win. I got that in Trove. And uh, But th these are my main gems, right? I'm rocking this, and then the Hepta, and then the rest are Hexas, as you can see. But this is the only reason why she was able to make it to exactly 1k AP. I believe without it, without it, I think she's like 970 with her gems. These are her gems right here that I gave her. Right there, these are the ones she's rocking. I think she is. Yeah, she drops down to 973. So as you can see, the only way she's able to make it to 1K as of right now uh, is <laughs> to wear my mange gems. So uh, uh, yeah, man. I guess uh, let me put that put that on there right now. Oh, I have a treasure pouch. I didn't even see that. How many of that? Damn. When did I get four treasure pouches? The fuck? Um. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so check that out, uh, 1000 AP, she's got 20% pierce, 121 uh, accuracy, her crit rate is 59.54%, uh, I think I could get her crit higher to about 60% if I didn't use the artisanal primers, uh, the blue ones, if I use like the masterwork, the purple ones, I'm sure she could at least get up to 60%, but it's fine, 59% works. Uh, 256 crit damage, which is really good, anything above 250 crit is very nice, uh, as of right now. Of course, the numbers will get higher as the gear progresses. And then she got 139 wind damage. 139 elemental wind damage is really good as well. And uh, yeah, man, 34% uh, damage reduction on the defense. Not too bad. 1k AP, about 60% crit, above 250% crit damage, and about 140% on the elemental uh, wind damage. That's uh, not bad. Not too bad for an ult, gotta say. Not too bad at all. Uh, so yeah. Um, other than that, I guess, uh, I pretty much, um, let's go see, uh, let's go check out some DPS, or, oh, wait, before I do that, let's check out her build, yeah, okay, so the build, uh, this is what we got going on, I, I got majority of her, uh, Hung Moon skills, what the fuck is it, you bitch, okay, there it is, so I got majority of the Hung Moon skills, I, obviously I don't have all of them, like these ones, but these ones right here are pretty much the ones that, uh, were prioritized, I asked our main KFM, uh, Oceanus, to, to, uh, I asked him what skills I should get, and these are pretty much the ones he told me to get. So I got all the majority of the uh, the important HM skills and whatnot, and this is the build. We got this going, we got the sh uh, Swift Strike, right, and um, we got this one just for the stun. Uh, this one I run back and forth. I, I go before, you know, this one or this one. Uh, it depends on what the, it depends on the fight, I guess you could say. If I really need the iframe, or if I'm just not feeling confident, I'll go ahead and just leave it on the immunity. But sometimes I, I do leave it on this one. Uh, I never said I was a perfect KFM. I never said I was a professional, right? I'm not. I'm definitely not a main. So this little bit of a uh, full immunity gives me uh, some uh, reassurance, right? Got the enhance. Got the fighting. You got the iframe one. I got. I got this jump. The increased damage on that. Damage, of course, fucking this move is amazing in wind build, especially with that three piece Raven set. That is amazing. That common strike is buffed to the max. I got the combo, and then we have uh, obviously the enhanced party one. So that's the build. Uh, the second build I, over here is actually the tanking build. Whenever I, I'm in a. I guess whenever I was pugging or doing some F8. And uh, I was pretty much the only tank. This is the build that I was running. Uh, you can you can let me know if the, I could change a few things up 
in the tanking build, but this is the uh, yeah this is the tanking build that I was that I usually use on the second page, and then on the third page this is pretty much like um, Tower of Infinity PVP whatever you want to call it just PVP in general right this is my PVP build so you can go ahead and take a look at that uh, but for mostly uh, DPS purposes since that's the only role I play uh, with this character in the uh, in my group. Uh, this is the build that I pretty much leave it on, but the other two builds are definitely optional, right? I, I really use the tanking one whenever I'm doing F8, and then of course the third one when I'm doing tower or uh, PvP and whatnot. So yeah, let's head over to the training room. I show, I give you a gist, like a real uh, gist of uh, the kind of. Uh, oh wait, what? Oh, I can't go into the the Hungmoon in this zone. Yeah. Show her the kind of numbers that she is able to pull with her current gear so uh, yeah it's not too bad for an alt I gotta say man yeah for a fucking alt this is she's not too shabby I'm very happy with uh, the gear she's got right now most likely I'm not gonna be able to find her any further for a very long time just because of the gear treadmill is con is uh, uh, continuing to ascend I have a lot of shit that I need to upgrade from my main well mostly the VT necklace when I get it but um, and of course the weapon, right? I gotta get that Ronzu weapon. Uh, but uh, until then, I think uh, she's pretty good at where she's at in terms of gear. I don't really have to fund her anymore, right? Which is nice to... Uh, it's nice to have two characters. And I gotta say, you know, playing alts or playing different classes is definitely another way that I use to recapture the fun in the game after playing it for so long, right? So, uh, yeah, man. So, uh, I'll do a little bit of uh, some uh, DPS check right everybody everybody always goes to the the turtle man so uh go ahead and do some of that probably uh play some music in the background who knows um but uh, we'll check out the numbers right after we're done give me about three minutes Hmm, not bad, not bad, but I think we could do better. What's going on guys? This is the One Man Army Mr. Easy for Life coming back at you guys once again with another Blade & Soul video. Today, something a little bit different than usual. This isn't a raid video or a dungeon video or whatever video or event trove whatever. Uh, I'm today. I'm pretty much just showing you guys uh, a little bit of a showcase of my alt, uh, which is my KFM. As you as you can see in the uh, the lower box, the, that chat box overlay that I've had for pretty much forever. It says that my alt is a KFM, and that's not. You know, I'm not lying when I say that that's not bullshit. This is pretty much, this is my KFM. I haven't really showcased her a lot. I did like one tomb video with her like a month ago. Um, but right now, I think she's in a pretty good state of mind in terms of gear um, to be presentable. Excuse me if I sound like shit, by the way. I just finished doing a live stream. Um, yeah, so I like literally right just finished. I'm here making this video or whatever. So yeah, man, just wanted to show you guys my KFM. Uh, I'm going to show a little bit of footage of doing some dailies with my KFM uh, right after we do this nice little uh, presentation, I guess. So uh, you get to see her in action, see the kinds of numbers that she's pulling uh, in some of the fights, right? Because, you know, we do the hard mode and whatnot. And uh, yeah, man. So uh, yeah, this is my KFM alt. Her name is Zelina. And uh, pretty much I've had her ever since launch, right? This is my literally right after I made Easy Life. This is the second character that I made, uh, Zelina, and I actually took Zelina from uh, the JP server. If you go back and look at my old uh, Blade and Soul videos from like 2015, I played. I used to play on the JP server, and this is the character that I used to run with. So I took her from the JP 
and moved her into the NA and ever since she's been my alt character. I re-rolled her, she used to be a destroyer, I re-rolled her into a KFM for the NA, uh, but this is pretty much the exact character, man, the same character model and preset or whatever. I pretty much copied and pasted it from the JP files into the NA and uh, yeah, I, I took, their, took her character preset. So uh, yeah, so let's check out her, her gear, enough nonsense, enough bullshit. Uh, let's go ahead and check out her gear. So uh, she's got Raven 3. I was able and fortunate enough to get both um, stage 6, right? Okay, alright. So that is, we got about 117,925. So 117k. Well, actually, if you round that up, it's about one, one, uh, 118 because it's... Um, 117, uh, 925, so yeah, about about one, uh, about 118k on a sustained DPS, which is uh, pretty fucking good for Raven 3. Raven 3, 1k AP, um, able to sustain almost 120k DPS. Um, now, obviously, it, it's a Hong Moon training room, and, and a lot of it isn't really accurate. You know, I don't really, you shouldn't really base the uh, the kind of DPS that you do in a Hongmin training room uh, it's not really a, it's not exactly 100% accurate so I don't so I usually take this with a grain of salt but this this method usually gives you about a good uh, gist of what kinds of numbers you could be pulling um, on your character right so uh, yeah um, it's safe to say that she's above 100k right above 100k uh, sustain I guess you could say so uh, yeah that, this gives us like I said this gives us a gist of what she can do so which is not bad I'm very happy for an alt like I said I'm very very happy with these numbers this is amazing um, let's see yeah lots of lots of uh, damage on the cyclone kick and of course the second d uh, main source is the comet strike that comet strike that three piece is fucking incredible um, yeah fucking amazing on the uh, the comet strike damage and uh, but yeah no with the uh, with wind of course it's all about that cyclone kick all about the fucking uh, uh, RF spam um, whenever you have the bracelet now of course that differs on ping I believe I was looking at a forum post on reddit saying is how uh, what you should do whenever you get the unleashed effect depending on what your ping is uh, whether or not you should go back to 2 RF or you should just continue with RF unfortunately with my ping since my ping isn't exactly the optimal ping um, I stick with RF, right? But uh, if you have really, really good ping, like like pretty damn good ping, you know, something below 100 or even at 100, I don't know, something uh, just something better than 120 MS or 1, 120 to 130. Um, now the see, the see, the thing is, I could stick with 2 RF, but the thing is, my ping isn't like. Uh, it's not at a consistent 100 to 120 like so on some days as I said uh, on some days it, t it tends to spike up you know to 150 all the way up to 160 sometimes or even worse than that depending on what the traffic is so whenever that usually happens I just go back to RF but if you have really good ping you could uh, you could stick with the 2 RF uh, according to the post according to that uh, reddit post of course because uh, of course as you can see it gives the it gives the um, divine dragon gives the swift strike effect uh, bonus whenever you're in that unleashed effect, but uh, yeah, no. Uh, the main point is she can hold a pretty good amount of DPS. That's this, like I said, these are the numbers she's pulling, and uh, yeah, man, fucking not bad. I'm very happy where how you know how much gear, how much she's progressed uh, these past I think two or three months. I've been starting to focus gearing her on more. At one point, like I said, you know, at one point. Whenever the gear was crazy, like whenever, you know, BT first came out, I was doing my man. I wasn't really playing this character that often, uh, but since things have kind of died down a bit, you know, I'm just taking my time with Vortex Temple, just chilling, relaxing. Got an extra match here and there. I said, why not, you know, I, I uh, why not to, uh, gear up my second character, you know, I, um, yeah, so... Yeah, no, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. That's pretty much my KFM all. Like I said, the next footage that you're going to be seeing is pretty much footage taken from my live streams. Uh, I've been doing dailies with my KFM all week, this past week. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit of some of the uh, the fights she can do and uh, how she performs in these uh in these uh, scenarios or whatever um, but other than that guys thank you so much for watching uh, stay tuned for more to come hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, whatnot so yeah man thank you thank you and uh, shit I guess that's pretty much about it enjoy the rest of the footage of what the rest of the video some KFM wind action and I guess I'll catch you guys in the next Venus video very soon uh, hopefully you're all having a very easy day like I said I love you all as always and this has been the wine man army mr. easy for life I'm out. Peace. Old man was Mushin the entire time. Not it was oh, yeah. me, but it was actually me, Mushin. <laughs>
Oh, oh shit. shit, she's going in with me. Alright, I'll do that. Like, right. You need to be taking lessons from Dio, bro. You were expecting an F2, but really, it was me, Dio. <gasps> Watch out. Mm -hmm. Dio is mean lord. But it was I, Dio. <laughs> Do you even know what I'm referencing? Uh, uh no. Cool down. I'm thinking of the Jojo. anime. Jojo, yeah. Yeah, Jojo, yeah. That's like exactly uh. what I'm referencing. I'm gonna bitch. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yes, oh no. Oh shit, too. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? I am Joseph a Joestar. Yes. I like how I killed all these cultists and didn't even realize I killed them. Damn. Nice. Bad life. You know, I don't even know any of my skills except for R and D. Where are you? I haven't found the need to do anything besides R and D. Is that a bad thing? And you. Nope. I will always try to be where I'm at here. Green white. Practically any other attack during that like level is overkill for anything. What I'm doing? Even RMB is no. overkill, dude. Gunner. Yeah. Cause like, cause I have to, I have like the option. First CC stun. Oh, you have to open all three. That's lame. I don't want to open the brainwashed villagers. Oh, that's so lame. They're forcing me to commit genocide. Alright, well, y'all, you guys have to die. Sorry for being brainwashed, I guess. I don't know. Fuck to the U. Bye. <laughs> so find funny our bullets are focused. Couldn't it just because <laughs> I've called it bullet instead of focus? <laughs> I know. You, you focused enough to make oh. more bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something out of the Matrix. Yeah, that's so true. Good. No. Nope. <laughs> Very good. Box? There is a money nope. pouch. Oh, black stuff. Oh, did you guys finish? Yeah, we got the yeah, ring. Yeah. No snow. <laughs> nah, he wouldn't do that. Man, we were like best friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Weedy's more of a best friend than no, you were. Not me. Someone came more cool than me. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, no, 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 no. That, really that, I know about that, yeah, because... Well, he felt he bad only... for him. Yeah, exactly. he only gave it because, yeah, because he felt like he did a lot to Adam. <laughs> yep. I don't know. I think he's triggered Adam the most, even more than Screamus. Yeah. Oh, well, it's because Screamus had no arguments, and uh, Reese just picked that actual like points that got to him a lot. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Skirmus all he had was your mom. <laughs> then, uh... You're just but jealous. Actually... <laughs> 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 yeah. And Risa actually had points of like things that he can do. That's true. Ah. He's gonna grab me. Why can I never get an ice stance when this happens? He's dead anyways. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm not dying.
merchant? Mechanic? What? Yeah, it shouldn't have What's to. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. That's probably the last time anybody did mechanic. Though. Yeah, even in, even in hard you mode. Are, you, guys, you guys are OP. Sweetie is. Yeah, look at Sweetie, 200k. Yeah. Are you doing the chain, Sochiness? Huh? Are you doing the chain? Huh? No way. Okay, I'm doing great. it then. I'm doing <laughs> okay, Z, sorry. There we go. Wow, someone out beat me. Oh, someone Damn ruined it. it because I froze it right before it jumped. My DP. Shit. Sweetie, I hope you hold it. Is that my photo? Mm -hmm. Not my fault either. I was given two recent or uh, two sober. Well, hey. How far do I need to be? There we go. Yeah. Fame. Easy. What's what's you? <laughs> I'm one ten. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> got told. Yep. Pop got me by ten k. I'm one hundred ten. I know that's what I'm saying, but eh, you can never escape drama. Yep. It's everywhere. Okay. So yeah, Mark. Your Mark. Okay. Two. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so let me know when I go oh, in. Oh, yeah, you're two, you're two. <laughs> okay. I mean, three, you're three. I'm three? Okay, so I go on to the next one. Next one. Next one. Yeah, next one. Alright. Me and Sweetie for the first one. Okay. Alright, Oh, nice. <laughs> wow, I just have a, I have a full party. That's the only this point to plus run. Damn. Like, yeah, dude, I want my AP. They're like, carry us, senpai. There you go. <laughs> I think they're staying mainly because, like, I'm pretty much back here. Oh, of course. They're like, they're like this, these runs are going to be fast. As long as they know that. Like, they just need to know how to, when to get the ball. That's it. Yeah, do I go in for this one? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just go. Bro, yep. dude, like, I, okay, so I, I didn't really like wearing Blood Wraith, but, like, wearing Blood Wraith with Frostburn is just really nice aesthetic bro mm, yeah for the aesthetic aesthetics for that salt for that salt <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video guys, it really means a lot to me. If you like what you see, then don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, or even better yet, click that bell you see on the screen now to become part of the notification squad today. In order to get notified when a new video gets uploaded, increasing your chances to write first in the comment section below. Now all my social media links are in the description box below, and if you don't give a shit about any of that, then just share this video with your friends, share this with your family, or even share this with your mom. Any support at all is greatly appreciated. I love you guys as always, and I hope you all are having a very easy day. And this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, and I'm out. Peace!